Yeah, Pause YouTube, Six Foot Hacks here. Have for you guys today, Showdown Live in my favorite tier of all time, which is NU Alpha, which has finally been released. For those of you who don't know, a uh, link to the Smogon form should be down below, but I think you can look at the list of mods on Showdown. Either way, though, pretty excited to uh, to play NU, and I am not alone today. I have somebody with me. What, am I, what else am I supposed to say? I don't know if you can hear, but it's Laura. Hi, Laura here. <laughs> Five foot hex, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's Laura. Um, but yeah, she's going to be joining us in NU today. And I kind of just threw this team together because uh, I had an idea to use uh, what originally was Bandit Inbor, but changed it up to Scarf because I think Scarf fits on the team a little bit better. But Z Move Rizion sounds like it can be really, really good in NU. Although, I don't know if I like Grazium, Grazium Z, I think that's how you say it, or the Phytium Z, so we're going to see how things go. Maybe I'll switch in between things, or who knows, maybe uh, Content of the Crush will be good for Stone Edge, but Swords Dance Verizion has a lot of potential to just wreck this entire tier, which is really awesome. And then we have a specially, I guess, mixed defensive uh, Gastrid on here, just kind of switch into water types and wear things down with Toxic and kind of smack grass types around with uh ice beam next off we have our nice little hazard stack and core between garboder here and necrozma i know necrozma may not be best suited for a stealth rocker in the end tier but with this set it can beat just about every hazard removal in the tier except for shift tree which i don't think is common as of right now and doesn't carry defog Good question. what did you name that merda because it looks ugly or because that's how she looks I don't know. I've always nicknamed it that since like fifth gen. Wow. I don't know. It's a fitting nickname for Garboder, but besides Shift Tree and Togekiss, this can't stop hazard removal. But for the most part, in theory, this set should work. So we're hoping that it can put in work. And then finally off, we have Slurpuff, which I think is really awesome because I know everybody's going to be expecting uh, Belladrum, but I want to try out the uh, dual setup set, which was very popular back in X and Y N U. And I think a reason why this got banned, I guess Belly Drum may be slightly better, but I feel like people are going to be expecting that. So a Con Guard, Calm Mind could catch a couple people off guard and Slurpuff may be able to sweep uh, late game. So yeah, that's kind of the idea of the team. Hopefully uh, it works out. So yeah, and Laura will be helping us and stuff. I will try. Yeah, so let's get a battle. So if he gets hacks, it's my fault. <laughs> okay, so we got the first match here. Alright, so we got Earthquake for half of his team, which is really great. So I can see Necrozma putting in a lot of work in this match. Uh, Surf Slurpuff could actually sweep late game, I think, depending on how things go. If I can get up a Kong Guard and I don't get Toxic. Actually, if I get burned, that's going to be really good. I'm hoping that he doesn't have like a banded Tyrantrum because I literally have no switch-ins to that. Uh, looking at leads, though, what do you think he's going to lead with? <laughs> I have no idea. Um, I'm thinking Tyrantrum and Necrozma, maybe. What are you going to lead with? I want to lead Garboder, but <clears throat> if he leads Necrozma, that's bad. Uh, my Necrozma, I don't think is a bad lead. I think I'm going to lead my Necrozma. Nope. As he leads his Necrozma. That's fine, actually, yeah. Because if I led Garboder, then he could have just psychic me. And that would have been bad. He is dark, though. He's the color of black. As we're both just going to get a Stealth Rocks here. So, I'm running a lot of speed, so there's a chance that he may be a little bit more bulky. He could be going for a Toxic here. Does Gastrodon really care about Toxic? Uh, Gastrodon is kind of my answer to Embor, more or less. Don't start killing your Pokemon yet. I know, but I can't do anything to his Necrozma. Like, I literally do nothing. Oh, well, what's he going to do? Uh, maybe Toxic, if he's defensive. Because it could be like Stealth Rock, Toxic, Moonlight, and like a Psychic. Stuff, huh? Something like that. I could just Earthquake to see what he wants to do. I think I'm Earthquake. Oh, that does decent damage. Oh, okay, that does zero. So, <clears throat> he doesn't have the Toxic, I think. So, I think I can switch into Gastrodon here. Which should be able to just freely go for Toxic against anything on his team. And I don't think he should be able to knock me out. Yeah, that, that did actually zero. So, I think I'm pretty free to go for Toxic here. Very positive he's not going to switch into Drapion. Uh, it's a dark type move. He can flinch me, but it's only 20% and I don't think he's gonna stay in and do that, so I'm gonna go for Toxic. 
So yeah, so this is good. Now I can beat this Necrozma 1v1 and I can just go for recover next turn. Since there's not really anything he can do. He could switch out, I guess, but I don't think that's really going to matter. Even if he brings in Drapion, I can just go for Skull and then maybe burn him. If he brings in his own Gastronaut, I can just go for Toxic. Uh, he's not going to risk bringing in Tyrantrum and Guzzlord is garbage. So I think everything is fine right now. But Toxic in Necrozma is really good because it's fat and really bulky. I don't know. I can't believe it's in you, which is kind of crazy. Okay. Uh, he may have Toxic. That could actually be a little bit annoying. I kind of want to switch into Virizion. Because <clears throat> he doesn't really have a good answer to plus 2 Virizion. And if he Toxics me, I can probably just go straight for Swords Dance. Although I can exchange Toxics here. And then switch into Virizion. But he could go for the Ice Beam. I don't know. What's Ice Beam going to do to your Virizion? Uh, it's super effective. But he may not have it. Because it's not common. Well, you can risk it all. I'm a Toxic. Ah, oh, he has Toxic. Actually, what I'm going to do. Hold on. I don't think four EVs here are going to really matter that much. So this way, if we run into any more Gastrodons, we cannot speed them. So I'm going to switch into Verizion here. I don't think he'll go for double Toxic. That would be a really good play on his part, though. Yeah. See, he doesn't have Ice Beam. So that's really good. Oh, that is a little bit annoying, though. I want to just Sword Zance here, honestly. Like, there's nothing he should be able to do to me. Yeah, this is going to die. <laughs> this is just going to die. I don't know if I should use my Z move now or later. I am gonna wanna quick quick cap though. I can't speak. Uh, let's see, plus two Verizion. Crick. Yeah, no, I said crick instead of crit. Okay, so if he's like max defense or something, he can live unless I Z move here. Actually, it may not be that bad to just Z move because we can just manhandle through this Necrozma now. Plus, I don't think I'm gonna Z move on anything else. I close combat Drapion. I close combat Embor. I leaf blade knockout he's Gastrodon. Like I close combat Tyrantrum. He's saying he's gonna win. I mean, there's really, I mean, there's no, there's nothing else I Bloom Doom on though. So yeah, I think this is a good play. This is just gonna die, even like min damage, <laughs> it just, it just died. So this is where the Grassy MZ is a little bit more handy than the Fighting MZ because we're able to just annihilate Necrozma here. As in comes the Embor. I don't really have a good answer to this except for. Gastrodon, unfortunately. He has the Flare Blitz though, like there's no other play. Yeah, Flare Blitz is by- oh god! That did a lot of damage because of a crit. Oh, uh, that's fine though. I don't think he's gonna go for it again. Cause there's no way he knocks me out. Well, I guess in that sense I could go for Skull, but I lose Gastrodon. But by recovering, we rack up recoil damage on him. And I keep Gastrodon, so it's not bad. As in comes the Guzzlord, I have no idea what a Guzzlord does, so I'm a little bit scared. What do? Don't ask me. <laughs> I love it. Uh, I guess maybe switching into Necrozma. See what he wants to do. I haven't even gotten that. Oh, okay. Yet. Would he have a move to hit Slurpuff? If I can Cotton Guard, I think I may win with Slurpuff, depending on how things go. I'm just going to Earthquake Chip on this oh, yeah. uh, Guzzlord, as he does get a special attack boost. Actually, that's not bad, because I can just bring him a Rizzi on here. And click close combat. He doesn't have a switch in the close combat. And if this lives, that could actually be a little bit annoying. But if Guzzlord is gone, Embor should be able to win a little bit easier. Especially because his Gastrodon is burned. Although Tyrantrum could be kind of annoying. Though, right? Huh? He's going first. No. Uh, he, ga he gained a special attack boost and Guzzlord's stupidly slow. He could live a close combat though. So I'm a little bit worried about that. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe stacking off Necrozma wasn't the best play there. I don't know why he double went for Dark Pulse, though. Oh, are you kidding me? Gut Hello? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that kind of sucks. Uh, This is fine, I revenge kill. But I don't know if it's worth going for a Cotton Guard with Slurpuff right now. Because I can Cotton Guard, because I'm pretty sure I can live a, a plus two Sludge Wave. Try it. I don't know. I don't think it's worth it. Honestly, I can just no. It's just shut a superpower. No, it's fine. It's fine. I think it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. So, unfortunately, Verizion was not able to finish off a Guzzlord there, as in comes a Gastrodon. This is honestly not that big of an issue. Uh, he's definitely got an Earth Power here, but unfortunately, my Slurpuff really can't do much right now. Yeah. Oh, okay, so this is a little bit annoying. Losing Verizion 
made Gastrodon kind of a nuisance, but at the same time, it's toxic, so that's kind of good. It's not that bad. Are you I just. Ever gonna get rid of the rocks? I, I don't have anything to get rid of rocks. I just. I need to get this weakened enough so I can maybe knock it out with Slurpuff. Because even if he toxics me, if I can get up a Cotton Guard, I'm pretty sure I can win with Slurpuff, so. It's just a matter of stalling this down a bit. And I don't think. Well, no, because I don't want to bring in Garboder. Hmm. I'm gonna Ice Beam here. I mean, that's fine. I just have to weaken Gastrodon. Yeah, because I should be able to bring in Slurpuff for free after another turn or two of Toxic so racking up. What's up? I was gonna say you better recover. No, yeah, yeah I had to recover that turn. But the Toxic is going to rack up on him too. So that's good. I that's that's mainly what I want. Too. I mean, that's fine, that's fine. As long as it racks up on him, because I'm going to put him in a position of where he's just going to think I'm going to leave in my Gastrodon. So I can bring in my Slurpuff, Cotton Guard, as he goes for Toxic, then maybe Calm Mind. And at that point, Toxic is racking up enough to where Slurpuff can beat his Gastrodon and probably win me the rest of the match. So he's either going to recover this turn or go for one more offensive <sighs> move. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What? I yawned. It's fine, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you can say to do something. I don't know. Well, are you gonna do something else other than recover every single time? I mean, this is why I'm doing this, so I can put myself in a position, so I can do something else. Position, yeah. Oh, okay. So he made a good play there. Nice double switch out. Actually, I can switch into gas into my Garboder here and maybe get up spikes. As he goes for the poison jab, that's fine. And he's so, gonna take the recoil damage. You tried to make him think that you were going to. I mean, that's fine. It's fine. Because getting up spikes is still going to be good, I think. He predicted you. Uh, I don't know if he expected me to switch out. Because you said he did a good double switch. So. Yeah, because he switched out the same turn I switched out. I still have use for this, though. So maybe he was doing uh, the I don't know if I can little poison jab, though. Let's see. Because we can still win this with Slurpuff. I definitely think Slurpuff is the win condition right now. Let's see. Fairy has got to be offensive if it did that much damage. Okay, so we can live one hit. Dazzling Gleam unfortunately doesn't do entirely too much, but at plus three defense, he isn't going to be doing much damage back to us. No, because doesn't, he doesn't take aftermath damage either. Hmm. Because I want to keep Garboder to get off Rocky Helmet damage potentially. But no, because I need to keep Gastrodon too. Actually, do I need to keep Gastrodon? I mean, yeah, I guess it kind of helps against his Embor, but at the same time, Garboder kind of helps against Embor because it just punishes him. I like sack off your whole team. See, I don't know what the sack off though is a thing because he can just Earthquake again. What does Pumba do? I thought about that because it can maybe live one Earthquake. Maybe. Let's see. Yeah, we can definitely live an Earthquake. On the switch and I think. Let's see. Yeah, uh, the only problem with that though, I guess I have to superpower at that point. But by weakening Drapion, I should still be able to win with Slurpuff. Okay, yeah. Oh no, actually no. This was really bad. This was really bad. Oh no, we lived! Okay. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Because I can just superpower here. Are you faster? Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. Oh my god, you died. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, it should be, because Slurpuff can come in here and Cotton Guard. And then we should be able to knock him out with a... With a move. Oh, no poison! Actually, that's good, because now I can go for Calm Mind. Yeah, and we have the... The Citrus Berry. Oh, poison! That's actually going to be really bad. Oh, that's kind of annoying. But you killed it. Yeah, but I don't know if... Can we win? Actually, I need to Oko everything he's got left. And I don't know if I Oko this Gastrodon. No. Oh, yes! Justice! That is justice for the poison. That is justice for the poison. Slurpuff coming through, ladies and gentlemen. The Surf is going to knock this out, and we can live another poison, and then Tyrantrum is going to drop to the Dazzling Gleam. So... Double Dance Slurpuff putting the team on its back there at the end. I got a little bit scared because I thought the Poison was probably going to lose as the match there. Uh, Dazzling Gleam should be able to knock this out for sure. <laughs> Down it goes. 
So, Slurpuff providing some justice in game number one. So let's go get another one. All right, so we got the next matchup here, and this team is kind of scary. A Yaw Mega is a really huge threat, and the hazard stacking core between Omastar and Steelix is a huge problem. But Verzion does put in a lot of work, which is really great, and Slurpuff can maybe sweep late game, so that's going to be good. Um, leads? I honestly just want to leave Verzion. I really don't see him leading Yaw Mega. That could be a little bit annoying. And she clicked Verzion. As he leads Steelix, so this is really good. I should be able to just go straight for a close combat. Even if he switches right into the Yaw Mega, I can see if it is uh, Tinted Lens or a Speed Boost. Do I want a Sword Zance? I almost want a Sword Zance, honestly. Would it be worth close combat in turn 1? Because Leaf Blading I don't think is a bad play in this scenario either, but I guess close combat ultimately is the best play in the end. As it turns out, this is Fairy. No, this is Poison? No, this is Ghost. Okay, so, yeah, if I had Leaf Bladed there, that would have been a, a pretty decent sh uh, decent play there. So, he can definitely just Parting Shot here, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, what would he Parting Shot into, though? I'm going to Sword Zance. I really don't know what he can Parting Shot into here. Because we're still at plus one. We threaten the Steelix. If he brings in him on top, I can just go from there. Uh, Omastar, honestly, isn't that big of an issue. Leaf Blade, and then... Another Leaf Blade should knock this out. He does get the plus one, though, I think. Um, not sure if he outspeeds me, though. Oh, plus two? I thought weak armor, weakness armor was only one. Okay, so... That is a little annoying. But T-Spikes, honestly, aren't too big of an issue. I don't know why he got a T-Spikes when I have a Garboder. But, okay then. Down goes the Star, Because Poison types get rid of T-Spikes. So, maybe he didn't have Spikes in general? I don't... I don't really know. Uh, but I do just want to get rid of these T-Spikes now. As he tries to go for the Protect, does turn out to be Speed Boost, which is a little, little bit annoying. Uh, what do? Sorry, I'm using the old chair. Yeah, the old squeaky chair. Sorry. From back in the day. Oh, uh, I may have to lose something here. Why? Because this thing is a problem. Oh, please don't flinch me. Oh, he's going to switch! Okay, that's fine. Wow. He's probably just going to get up Stealth Rocks here, honestly. That's fine. I can get up my own rocks. And see, this is what I meant. Necrozma should be able to beat uh, him on top 1v1. And we can also Earthquake the Steelix. If he has Toxic, that is a little bit annoying. But I think getting up rocks here is going to be pretty decent. And then I can maybe try and pressure the him on top. If he doesn't have Roar on Vaporeon then I definitely see Slurpuff putting in a lot of work in this matchup. But there's a chance he could have Toxic on Steelix, which is going to be a little bit annoying. But I don't know if Steelix are typically offensive or defensive, because I've seen both. Doesn't so, make your Pokemon we're going to see what he's going to do. He does have Toxic. What? Doesn't Roar make your Pokemon switch out? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If he doesn't have Roar on Vaporeon, then Slurpuff can maybe win, depending on how things go. Um, kind of going to switch here, honestly. If he Toxic's Gastrodon, that could be a little annoying, but I don't really think it matters too much. Uh, Verizion can honestly just come in here and click Close Combat, I think. Actually, Leaf Blading, not Leaf Blading, but Sword Zancing wouldn't be a bad play either. Okay, so if he wants to play this game again, then I'm fine with it. He could also just stay in and go for an offensive move, that's fine. Something is dying here. <laughs> I'm plus two. This is Bloom Doom. This is dying. Him on top is dying. He's not going to switch into Yaw Mega. Steelix is going to get 2 KO'd. If it doesn't die to Bloom Doom, it's going to die to close combat. Oh, what? He Why? Die. What? Okay, that is... That is a little bit annoying. Should I scream what like you? <laughs> he should have died. That, oh, I don't know why he would risk the Yon Mega like that. That's so annoying. That's actually really annoying. I'm not even this What? What? <laughs> oh, go for protect here. Go for protect. Go for protect. His name is Ego Waffles. Thank you. Okay. And I'm going to Sucker Punch. I'm, I'm going to click Sucker Punch eight times. I don't care. I'm going to do this. Eight times? Yeah, because he's either going to protect or go for an offensive move. And eventually, he's not going to click protect. See? There. Okay, it's fine. Uh, I am unfortunately locked into Sucker Punch, but this is one of those scenarios where his team... 
it doesn't really matter that I'm locked in the Sucker Punch because still Valley can't do anything, Steelix can't do anything, Vaporeon cool. can't do anything, and him on top can't do anything. Like, I'm in a really good scenario right now. Okay. What's up? What? No, I'm not going to click it again because I do nothing. He's a water type. He beats me. Okay, well, figure out what you're going to do. Uh, I can spike. I can switch into Gastrodon to Toxic. You Actually, Gastrodon Toxic. Put in work with this one, but... Yeah, but I don't know if he's got Toxic or not. Okay. Or Roar. He could still have Roar. Who knows? Uh, Necrozma is a decent middle ground play because there's a chance he's going to Toxic here. Oh, Actually, no, I don't, I, don't, I don't really care if Gastrodon is Toxic. Like, I can just Toxic him back. Like, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, so he's going to go for the Wish. Honestly, this is really not even that big of an issue. Even if he switches into his Steelix, that's fine. So he's got Toxic, Wish, Protect, Scald, which means he doesn't have the Roar. But the fact that he has Toxic is a little bit annoying because this means that they, uh, Slurpuff can't set up until I weaken him. So it's kind of like the Gastrodon scenario in game number one. Where I have to rack up toxic damage enough against him. Or just force him out. So he can either stay in here and go for the wish again. Or you can toxic. Uh, I can toxic predicting him to switch. I can ice beam just to rack up a little bit of damage. Uh, Garboder spiking isn't a bad play because it forces him into him on top. But I don't really want to do that because I want rocks up. And toxic. Uh, I don't know if I should toxic though. But you should. No, Verizon. I think, I think Verizon is a better play. Well, if you fuck up, it's on you. It's fine. See, look, he went for double toxic, so you expect him to switch. This is fine. This is fine, because I can Sword Dance here. I can go for Leaf Blade. I'm going to Sword Dance. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't matter. After Sword Dance, I can probably knock something out. Uh, this could Rapid Spin in my face, but does it really matter? Because I can just click Close Combat. I like how it's been dancing. Yeah, he's supposed to spin on his head. But <laughs> that did so much damage. <laughs> that did so much damage. So Leaf Blade is definitely going to knock this out. It's also going to knock out... It's not going to knock out uh, Soul Valley, but... It's going to do a lot of damage. Uh, that's fine. I will gladly take this exchange just because Necrozma can still just get up Stealth Rocks. But at this point, it doesn't really matter. Because he doesn't have Heal Bell on Vaporeon. Steelix is literally not a problem anymore. And Soul Valley is garbage either way. <laughs> I'm sorry, but Soul Valley is just a bad Pokemon in general. So... <clears throat> I think I should be able to win this. I don't really see how he can win this unless that's Cursed Steelix, but he, he has Stealth Rock, so I don't think that's going to be it. I still don't know it. how mine never got the thing off its face. I had it at full happiness. I don't know. I think you're supposed to level it up or evolve it in some specific place. Yeah. I think. I don't know. I could be wrong. He could have Grass Knot here. That could be a little bit annoying. Just a little. No, he's got multi- that's fine. Because I'm pretty positive he doesn't have Heal Bell on the Vaporeon. And toxic in this just means that my chances of winning are a lot better. Do I really need to recover? I don't think I need to drag this out any longer than it really has to be. Uh, him parting shotting into Vaporeon could be a little bit annoying because he gains back HP. Ah! That's fine. It really, really doesn't matter in the long run. It really doesn't matter in the long run. I can just recover here. Oh, he's got Heal- What?! Okay, Heal Bell, Scald, Toxic, and Wish, I guess, is his moveset. Okay, that's a little bit annoying. That's actually really annoying. Well, no, no. Oh, that's really, really annoying. That's actually really annoying. Holy crap. Okay. So this is still winnable, but it's just become really annoying. Because if it, this Vaporeon could be a humongous problem. Especially because I lost Verizion. Like, just because he's got Heal Bell doesn't mean he wins. Like, it's annoying that he has it, yeah, but it doesn't really matter in the end. Hmm. But half your team is still toxic. Yeah, that is kind of a problem. Okay, so Earthquake can't knock me out here. Could Ice Beam recover? I'm, I'm gonna recover. recover. Because there's a chance he's going to switch out. Saying it isn't a bad play for him to do either. Let me just recover again. Is he just going to do that until you die? I guess. Scald still does a lot though. Ooh, that's a good chip actually. That's actually really great because I think I can win with Slurpuff now. I think this is winnable with Slurpuff now. Uh, he could switch into Vaporeon here and go for Heal Bell. I kind of want to double into Slurpuff. Slurpuff can live whatever you're about to. Oh, I don't know. 
Hmm. Switching into Embor here wouldn't be a bad play either, I think, because then I can go for Wild Charge. I would do Embor. Oh, I don't know. He was faster, wasn't he? No, he wasn't faster. What? No, he's he been switching into a poor Look, Mara did it though. Oh, this is kind of annoying. You said you could wild charge. I know, but I don't know how much it's gonna do. Oh, Holy what? crap! <laughs> Holy crap! That does so much damage. You're not living this. Okay, he can protect here. That's gonna be a little bit annoying, but that's fine. Like I'm just gonna wild charge again. Like eventually, I beat this one v one, or I force him out into the vape, into the Steelix. And as long as he's not heal belling, that's fine. Like, that's good. Like, this is still winnable. This is still winnable. Oh, it just died! Okay, great. Now we definitely win. So I guess it just got a low damage roll on the first wild charge. I think I'm jolly reckless, too. Like, that's crazy. Embor, an absolute monster. In comes to Soul Valley. I can definitely save Embor. Uh, what do I just sack off here? I can just sack off Garboder, honestly. Garboder doesn't really do anything. And then uh, Slurpuff can win, Embor can win. Uh, finally, just getting rid of getting rid of Vaporeon was the main thing. Also, I think if I got rid of Steelix, this match might have been a little bit easier. But either way, though, it's not that big of an issue as I will be able to just uh, sack off my my Garboder here. And because Multi Attack is actually a physically attacking move, then he's going to be taking Rocky Helmet chip damage every time. So I think what I'm going to do is get up Spikes as he goes for the Wrath. Oh, why does this team just get more annoying by... Okay. Okay. That's annoying. I see now. That's annoying. Because he could beat Slurpuff 1v1. Oh, no. He doesn't have Sleep Talk. Nope. Okay. That's really good, then. It's really good. I'm just getting my third layer here. Mm. It's fine. I don't really care. You keep scaring me. It's fine, like I win, that's fine. If he had sleep talk, that would be really annoying because he could sleep talk a toxic on my slur puff and then toxic stall me potentially. If you lose though. I don't think I lose. But Porion was annoying, like I won this battle like at turn twenty. It's just a matter of taking down his last bit of mons, which can't do anything. It's two to five. And Steelix is burned. So Valley at this point is really the only annoying thing, but I really don't think he can win, like honestly. He wants to hurry up. I really don't see him doing anything here. I could also switch right into my Slurpuff to go for Calm Mind right away. Because there's a chance he's going to multi. Okay, yeah, okay. Toxic crossed my mind. I thought he would maybe Toxic, but it was probably in his better judgment to not do that. I don't really agree with that play. I think he definitely should have just gone for the rest, but he probably thought I was going to switch into Slurpuff or Embor, so that kind of makes sense. He may go for sleep this turn. He's got to rest this turn. So I'm going to switch into Slurpuff. Because he probably thinks I'm not going to switch out and that can just call mine now. So even if he wakes up from from rest here and toxics me, I think a plus two or plus three, we should be fine to just win with Slurpuff. If not, then Slurpuff can do enough damage to the point where I just win with Embor. I have Surf. What are you doing? You're dying. <laughs> you're, you're getting dropped. Actually, no! Oh! No, was that a bad play? Because I could have con guarded, then calm mind. No, because he could have gone for toxic. Actually, yeah, maybe surfing wasn't a bad play at all. So he still has two turns to sleep here, so I'm just going to calm mind up. He's taken 14% uh, from the spikes damage. So that's sleep number one. This is sleep number two. We are plus three. Dazzling Gleam should be an easy to KO. <laughs> easy. Easy to KO. Even if he toxic, it doesn't matter. So if he rested there, then I would have just calm minded again and won. So, Slurpuff again, just putting the team on her back, pulling out another victory. So, that's game number two. Um, th that is 30 minutes. I think we're going to do one more game and then call it a live, too. All right, so this team is actually terrifying, and I know this Junction is a really good player. So, we're going to see how things go in this matchup. Minior could be a slight, slight problem. If I weaken Skun Tank enough, I should be able to win Slurpuff, I think, depending on how things go. He could lead Steelix. He could lead Ribombi even. I think I'm leading Necrozma. Because I can Earthquake Skun Tank. I can live any hit from this Medicham, I'm pretty sure. That's fine. I kind of want a Moonlight here. Just see if he's going to go for an offensive move or not. Actually, no. I think Stealth Rocking 
isn't a bad play as he brings in the skun tank. I have earthquake. Like I will gladly earthquake and this shit to a KO. That's fine. Like I really don't care. See, this is what I mean. Like Necrozma can't just beat most defogging mons or rapid spinners. So I'm just gonna get a Brox here. And now he's in a scenario of does he wanna get rid of rocks or does he wanna knock out Necrozma here? So he's gonna defog. That's fine. Because getting rid of Skuntag means his defogger is gone. And I can get on my rocks and get on my spikes, which is going to be excellent. Unfortunately, though, Rebombi is a humongous, humongous problem. Oh, could this actually just sweep me? Maybe. It probably can. Because it's absolutely terrifying. A little bumblebee? Yes, this thing is stupidly fast. <laughs> that does so much damage. I don't like that damage. Okay, I'm going to try and spike here. Uh, spikes are going to be really nice just to wear things down. Oh, that's doing a lot of damage. I'm trying not to move so I don't squeak. Yeah, I know. That's why, that's why I didn't like that chair. It just it always squeaks. So there's a chance he's either going to go for one more Moonblast here, or he's going to switch into Steelix. I don't think he's going to switch. Oh, I really think he's going to switch into Steelix. But Gunk Shotting isn't a bad play. Like, Steelix takes chip damage. What's going to let you live? Mmm... I don't know if I really need Garbodor is the thing. Like, Seed Bomb isn't a bad play, but I don't want to Seed Bomb if he does stay in expecting me just... I'm going to gunk shot. Oh, please don't miss. Please? Yes! Okay, down goes Rebombi. That's really good. That's one giant threat out of the way. Uh, this thing is actually a huge, huge problem. Holy crap. Alright, so he's going to try and just Shell Smash over and over and over. So, I'm going to just spam Haze until eventually he knocks me out. How many... I don't know how much PP Shell Smash has, but if that he really wants sense. to do this, that's what Haze does. Oh, oh that's kind of scary. Hmm. Hmm. Are you faster? No. This is a little problematic. Is it problematic? I don't know. This could maybe win. This could have maybe just won. Oh, he can knock me out here. Wait, why did he shell smash? What? Misclick. Haha. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, whoa. Oh, oops, oops. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry. Clickety, clickety, click. Alright, so in comes the Medicham. Uh, we're in a really good spot in this matchup. Uh, do I want to keep this? I have Zemu for Slowbro. I'm pretty sure this is not a scarfed Medicham, and this Steelix shouldn't be able to do entirely too much to my Gastrodon here. So I'm going to switch out and bring in Necrozma as he goes for the high jump. Oh my god. Holy crap, that does so much damage. That is the power of Medicham, ladies and gentlemen. So, unfortunately, can't get up Stealth Rocks, but having up Alara Spikes is still really good, I think. Uh, I don't, Slurpuff can't win here just yet. I don't know how much I do to Steelix with the Surf. Let's see. Slurpuff, Sugar Puff. We have Surf. Surf at plus one only does 60 to 78%, so I just have to get off a little bit more chip damage. On the Steelix, I can bring in Verizion and maybe just Leaf Blade? Hold on, let's see. Because if Z-Move Leaf Blade knocks this out, then I can just get off a huge amount of damage on the incoming Steelix or knock out this Medicham, which I think is still going to be really good. Oh, it just dies. Okay, so I'm going to bring in Verizion here and just go for the Z-Move. We still get off a huge hit. On Steelix and we get off a huge hit on Slowbro probably knock that out maybe after and we just Oko Medicham here so this is really good yeah this is gonna die so down goes the Medicham and he's only got his wall core of Slowbro and Steelix left <laughs> and yeah he knew that was it was just a losing battle at that point so uh, that I think is going to be the live Laura is still here I don't she hasn't really said much yeah I did she said some stuff, but Slurpuff, man! I'm so happy Slurpuff just put in so much work 
in those first two battles, man. This is so awesome. You guys may be seeing a lot more of Slurpuff in the future, so little hint, hint, wink, wink there on that one. And I think this set is pretty decent for Necrozma. I definitely think you know, that... No, I haven't said anything because you keep talking so much. I know, like, I'm trying to say everything, and then I was going like, to ask you. Because <laughs> I just talked. Okay. Oh, what do you want to say? I was talking about the team. Yeah, talk about your team. Well, yeah, you just told me I was talking too much. <laughs> So I have a Garbodor here with Spikes, Gastrodon, Absolute Dawn still, Z-Move, uh, Verizion, I think definitely cut a lot of things off guard and definitely put in work, and then Scarf, Embor, just hitting like an absolute nuke, man, this thing is so powerful. So yeah, guys, uh, Pay Spoon of the team is going to be down below if you guys want to try it out. Not the most perfect team, but definitely a lot of fun to use. So I think that's all I really have to say, and, and Laura is going to say stuff, I guess. What am I going to say? I don't know, say bye, you had fun, hello, I don't know. Well, thanks, Leo had fun. <laughs> Hello. Slurpuff had great fun. I don't know. Yeah. Like, right. comment, subscribe. <laughs> yeah, so if you guys enjoyed the video, uh, leave a like, and uh, we'll see y'all tomorrow. So later, everybody. Bye. Cause my brain and heart are both tied in the knot And this hinders me from crying a lot This causing me to show no emotion But when I said I cared I wasn't joking But I guess it's too late for me to become broken But now I'm living with no more pain Tears are hoping I'm just coasting Yeah, I said I'm coasting No more pain, tears, and hoping For real